The climbing community is the absolute best humans on the planet. They saved my life, literally. Yeah, you know, you trust and support so much on the wall that you have that same trust and support in your, in your personal life as well. Absolutely. I'm Stacy, and I've been climbing just over five years. My name is Jill. When I'm outside, I feel like I'm home. That's where I belong. Okay, climbing to me kind of came by accident, literally by accident. My son passed away climbing January 25th, 2015. He was climbing Royal Arches for the fifth time and they were doing the rappel down and he didn't have a knot tied in the bottom of his rappel rope and he fell right through his gear. Having a climbing partner that you trust is, is huge. You, you know, your lives depend on each other from the minute you leave the ground until you take your harnesses off at the end of the day. I think about Cody a lot, especially when we're on the climbs. When you hike up to the bottom of the climb, finding the route that you want to climb in the book, you're so close to the, to the crag, it's, it's hard to tell if you're in the right spot. I didn't see it because of the tree. A multi-pitch climb, it's leapfrogging. So I start and my follower comes to me. I continue, my follower comes to me. When you're on a multi-pitch and you're the person following, you're a little anxious until they get that first piece of protection in. Now I'm not in any position to catch you if you slip right here. Yeah, I know. Did you see my foot slip? Yeah. One of the most exciting parts of climbing for me is, is lead climbing, and that's being the person who goes first and the person who takes up the rope. Getting started, um, you just get up there and... Climb on! Once I'm on belay, the fear goes away. She double checked me before she left the ground. It's just like, wow, okay, here we go. I started climbing not knowing how to do it, how to step up on the wall was scary. But from the very first second I did it, I fell in love with it. And now I understood why Cody loved it. Okay, I'm in. I have pictures of myself in the same exact iconic position that Cody climbed. Climbing. Climb on. Staying on the route can also be difficult sometimes. Okay, so this is a two bolt. Okay. 100 footer. Whiskey Bill at Fresno Dome. It's a five pitch, 600 foot climb. When you're doing a multi pitch, once you start, you start. You may be two hours up the mountain, who knows how much longer up. Sometimes when you're climbing, you get to a spot on the wall where you start to let the doubt creep in. Um, you start to worry, what if I fall or what if I can't make this next move? When I climb, just any kind of encouragement helps me if I hear that from my climbing partner. You know, all of your focus goes into where you put your hand and where you put your foot, and you know, you almost forget to take a look around. Wow, pretty spectacular. Outside, it's much more difficult to find to hold that you can, you know, get get some fingers or or a cam and be very secure. And so, when you do find a bomber hold, you know, you you just get real excited. Bomber holds are absolutely my favorites. When you go to a bomber, I have a thank you Jesus moment sometimes. <laughs> oh yeah, this one's a bomber. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, I'm glad you liked it. I hope I like this part. <laughs> this fifth pitch. I'm the gym mom. I bring way extra food for everybody. Another bite? Mm-hmm. Most fabulous bar. After Cody passed away in Yosemite, I decided to adopt Highway 41. It's an area that I knew. I think of him as I've passed his signs on the way to climbing areas in the Sierra, including today. I, I love being a part of that. It's a great way to remember Cody. The climbing community is a lot different than any community I've ever been a part of. There's just a special bond between you and a climbing partner, and you try to support each other through the sharing of your water, you know, pain of your feet, whatever you can do to get you to the top in the wake of tragedy became a wonderful life that I've uh, learned to love with great people. I never was outdoors until I started climbing and to see what I've been missing all those years, wow. Couldn't imagine my life without climbing. <laughs>